Welcome to Technology Leadership Talk with Jeff Epps, where there's always something brewing. I am here in my favorite coffee shop on the planet. Something's brewing here in Rayford, North Carolina. Okay, in today's session, we're going to talk about the rate of change of technology outside of the classroom walls, but we're also going to tie that in with how that affects technology, leadership, and instruction in the classroom. Now, we have already defined technology leadership as leadership and management. Leadership dealing with direction, management dealing with the processes, the procedures, the hardware, the software, the training needed to go in that direction, but we've also talked about how important it is to see technology leadership as a role and not a position, and that this role cannot, cannot be delegated. We also talked about how this role is important for the superintendent, for the principal, and the classroom teacher. But before we start talking about exactly how, how each particular uh, position within the school, the principal, the teacher, or the superintendent, uh, we want to talk about the rate of change or technological change outside of the school walls. This is what we know. We know that technology changes every two to three years. For example, Apple is always introducing a new version of the iPhone or the iPad every two to three years. And then Samsung's always introducing a new version of the Samsung Galaxy right behind Apple. So here's what most people don't, don't know. Technology transforms an industry every three to five years. What does that mean? That means every three to five years, a company does, has a process of do, a, or a way of doing things. However, technology comes along and changes how they're able to produce a product or perform a task, which means it may be more faster and efficient to perform that task. Take, for example, I had a friend of mine who had a nephroplasty in 1993. And the doctor had to make a cut around the side of my friend in order to insert a stent which was blocking the kidneys. Well, 10 years later, the stent needed to be replaced. However, this time, the doctor did not have to make that incision. He simply had to use a microscopic camera, go through the urethra, and insert the stent. And that's a classic case of how technology transforms an industry. And at that time, the, the key technology to know was the use of microscopic cameras. And doctors who understood the technology and how to use the technology were the doctors that made medical history and medical breakthroughs.